and today I have a tutorial geared towards anybody who wears glasses and wants to wear makeup. Now I actually was wearing this look not too long ago, I think about like two days ago when I posted that one selfie on my Instagram with the glasses. Yeah, so I wore that look and to be honest, it was really, really easy and I know there are a lot of questions regarding like how do you not let the foundation run on the sides of your nose with your glasses or how do you wear lashes or anything with your glasses. Typically like that kind of depends on your glasses. So my glasses are pretty far away from my eyes so I'm able to wear my big lashes which is what I actually prefer. Mine actually do have the little nose indents, if that makes any sense. Like they actually have the nose cushion. So yes, it's easier for it to rub off my foundation, but honestly, I just apply my normal powder there. I don't take off my glasses at any time of the day, so I am not really concerned with it. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. It's really quick and simple, and I also use the Chalmasay Wildflower Palette, and I know I promised you guys I would do a video uh, with this palette and I haven't so today's the day where I use it so I hope you guys all enjoy the simple tutorial and just keep on watching <laughs> so I know this is a glasses tutorial but I had to put in my contacts because I'm really blind like really blind so if you have any questions about contacts I actually have two contact videos for you guys I actually recommend part two more than part one because there's better information in part two. So I'm just gonna go ahead into my skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime it. And I don't have a primer with me. Is that so? Is that how it is today? It's fine. I won't go in with primer then. Actually, I'm getting ready for school as we speak. So today's tutorial is gonna be pretty quick. So the shape tape basically just neutralized some of the discoloration on my face. I'm in the shade medium and that's kind of why I use this color because it's so perfect. My upper lip has also been <laughs> really dark. Yesterday I was trying to drink my Sunny D and then I was drinking it and I guess I was drinking it really hard and then I gave myself a hickey. <laughs> And my boyfriend was yelling at me and he was like, Jasmine, why'd you do that? And I was like, I just wanted my Sunny D and it was hard for me to drink. <laughs> oh. But it got down significantly from yesterday. Yesterday it was like all purple. I was so embarrassed at myself. It was funny though. I was like, wow, who's stupid enough to do that? Okay, then I'm gonna go into my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I think this is low-key what's making me break out, but I don't know. It could just be because it's old, but also I'm trying to use it up, so I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Just a lot of things going on at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna go in with one more layer in areas where I need a little bit more coverage because this isn't the fullest coverage foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna let that sit on the skin while I go ahead and highlight with my Born This Way foundation concealer. Concealer. It's still the morning. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in areas where I want to highlight. This is in the shade Medium Nude. I really like this shade. It's not too light, but it still gives my face just a little bit of brightness once I blend it out. I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier translucent powder because I literally have barely anything left. So I'm just gonna use this to put this under my eyes in areas where I need to set. So there's this guy in my photography class. He always stares at me. And then it's weird because then we'll make like awkward eye contact and I don't like it. But I don't wanna talk to him and be like, hey, stop staring at me. Cause I don't know, I think that'd be weird, you know? And then we had to go outside for like this photography thing that we had to do. And he kept following me. So I'm just setting my face with my Shot Miss A Banana Powder. Brows are going to be simple. I'm going to take an eyebrow pencil. This one's by Essence. It's in the shade Dark Chocolate. And I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows ever so gently so I'm not getting too much pigment. Okay, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Eyebrow Powder. Just going to fill them in as usual. I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my eyebrows with my Too Faced. 
concealer. About a month ago, I promised you guys I would do a look with this palette, and I never did, and so here I am. So this is the Wildflower palette by Shot Masse. I'm gonna do, obviously, other tutorials with their other palettes. I'm choosing this one because it's really natural to me. So I'm gonna take this yellow shade right here, and I'm going to pop that onto my eyes as a base. I'm gonna take this orange right here, and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid. More so in my crease, but on my eyelid as well. I'm just going to buff this out. This color is pretty pigmented. Um, I do want to note that these eyeshadow palettes are a little bit drier than if you buy just like their single eyeshadows that are like three bucks on their website because I think that they lowered the quality in order for it to be so affordable. But honestly, that is just my hypothesis. I don't really know what's going on. Once you get through the top layer of all these eyeshadows, they work really, really well. I'm going to take my favorite blending brush, my Sigma E40, and I'm just going to buff out the edges just so it's a little bit more blended. I'm going to use this orange shade on my Juno & Co ES06 brush. I'm going to pat that onto my eyelid. Just pat it. No need to swipe it or else you'll get a lot of fallout. In the outer corner, I'm going to take this darker shade and I'm just going to pop that right here to blend the shimmer into the matte, but I'm also going to define my outer corner with this shade. My lower lash line is pretty much just going to be this orange shade and the darkest shade in the palette smeared onto my lower lash line. Pretty simple. This is kind of what I always do. Um, most of you guys know that like my regular eye routine, I guess, is just something that's like a burnt orange or like a red maroon. One of the two. I think that just suits my eyes and my face a little bit better. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E20 and I'm going to grab the darker shade and I'm going to pop that as close to my lash line as possible to give it a lot more depth and dimension. I also connected the two uh, eyeshadows from the upper lash line and the lower lash line just so it creates a cat wing because I'm not going to be applying wing eyeliner today. I've been trying to do my makeup so that I'm not applying winged eyeliner. It's something new I'm trying to do. I want to be that girl who doesn't apply wing eyeliner because you guys know me. Can't live without it. You guys also know that I love to line my waterline so I have these liners by LA Girl and these ones are their gel eyeliners. This is in brown and black. I'm going to put brown on my lower waterline and black on my upper waterline. I am going to be applying lashes but my eye shape is pretty weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply eyeliner right in the inner corner right here. And that is just so that the lashes can be a little bit more cohesive with my entire eye look. I know it's a little weird, but that's just how my eye shape goes. So for lashes, I do have my Lily Lashes in the style Havana. I'm going to be applying them with my Kiss Eyelash Glue. And then for mascara, I have my Essence Lash Princess. I'm going to go ahead and apply that just off camera because it's going to be a little boring. So I'll be right back. Let's go into bronzer. This is my ColourPop Alexis Ren bronzer. It is discontinued, but what can you do? Something I really, really enjoy, but also something that I wish stayed in the collection because this honestly is so good. The combination of these two colors, stunning, amazing. I'm going to deepen it up with just a little bit of the balm Take Home the Bronze. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush, my favorite. <laughs> And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this heavily on my cheeks. I like this because it doesn't get too dark and it still remains really natural. For highlight, let's go into the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Something natural. Something soft. I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild highlight. 
just to intensify the nose. I'm also going to do a little bit of a nose contour because the way my glasses are set up, they kind of make my nose look a little bit wide. So I need my bronzer again. And I use my Shop Miss A E110 brush. I just tap in just a very little bit. I start in the start of my nose, the beginning, the point, if you will. And then I will fade it up the sides because naturally I have shadow on the top bridge of my nose. So I don't need that shadow to be emphasized. I just need to connect the shadow. And I know this would be better if I did a contour shade, like a cooler tone shade, but honestly bronzer works just fine for me. And then you could take that translucent powder with a small brush and then just bake the side of the nose. So while that sets, let's go on into the lips. The lips are pretty simple. I've been wearing this lip combination for about like three days straight. So I'm using my favorite lip liner by BH. This is the Nude Lip Liner. I would top it off with the Smashbox Safe Word Lipstick. Smashbox makes the best lipsticks by far. If all my lipsticks could be one brand, it would be Smashbox. And to lighten that shade just a little bit, we're gonna go into Nylon Nude, also by Smashbox, one of my other favorite lipsticks. Hey guys, I was up this video. Hope you guys all really enjoyed. I just remembered in the intro, I did not talk about where I got my glasses from. I got these off firmu.com with the prescription included. I got it on sale. It was around like 30 bucks. So not too expensive and definitely really affordable. It is kind of cheap. So if I were to like sit on these, it would kind of be like game over, but they are good and they get me through my school year. There are other websites like Zenny Optical or like glasses.com, but I've honestly just stayed with Firmu because it was easier. They have all my information on the website anyway, so it's like whatever. Other than that, I hope you guys all really enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.